Doesn't look like there are many cars. Uh, let me fix the rudder. Seems to be kind of drifting. The rudder is, is very sensitive in this case. So, uh, oh, guess it wants to go up on the curve now. All right, now it's down. And let's run after it. So it's just gonna keep traveling now. And good thing is that the, the curve actually acts as a little bit of, okay. Yep, now it's a little bit beach, but the curve actually acts as a little bit of a, a guide rail. So here it is. There's our house way over there. So as you can see, this thing is pretty powerful. And I'm very happy with it. This is my computer fan hovercraft. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen my Rube Goldberg machine video. If you haven't, go check that out because I think it's pretty cool. Um, the one that me and my friend William made. And so if you remember the fan, this is the same fan. I just, uh, I just took it from that project and used it for the lift fan of our hovercraft. And this server fan is 150 millimeter San Ace. Um, this is our propulsion fan, and this is another server fan that I bought actually for making a PWM circuit, but it ended up being used for this instead. So that is our um, propulsion fan. And, and now these are guide vanes, and I have a, a rubber band here, so if I want it to go to the right, I can just do that, and the rubber band will hold it in place. If I want it to go to the left, vice versa, I do the same thing. Now it goes to the left. If I want it strictly in the center, I can just do that. And that is our um, the direction. So, and if you remember the Rube Goldberg machine, this is the same 12 volt battery. I just recharged it overnight. It's now at 13.2 volts. And let me show you the uh, circuitry. Basically, these two fans are hooked up in series. It's kind of hard to see. I wrapped all the wiring around the center fan. And then these two are the uh, leads that hook up to the battery. This is positive, and this is negative. And I'll explain this yellow um, yellow string because one time when I was testing it, it picked up so much speed that it actually just ran right down the street, I, halfway down the street, and I had to go run and get it. And taking off the lead was a pain, so... I made this string as a safety precaution so I can just pull the string and the uh, lead will be removed from the battery. And underneath the, the skirt, the way I have it set up is half of the air, or not really half, it's more like even like a fifth of the air goes into the skirt, raising it so it gets the, gr the ground clearance that we need. And then the rest of it goes out from out underneath the craft which actually twists it. <laughs> 